You know, just the scary thing about this, Alice, is that we talk and talk about this, and yes, there's some action has been taken, but there are still machines out there. And it could be these are time bombs waiting to go off. How many machines are we talking about? Well, there were 5.3 manufactured. Um, the company have had... Million, million, million machines manufactured. What, it was massive, massive. This is the Whirlpool company, but these are Hotpoint, Intercept, Creda, Proline machines. Masses of them. One in six homes had one of these affected models. Many of them will now have been um, sort of worn out and been replaced, but only 1.5 million people have registered with the company for the safety modification that needs to be done. So there's probably about another two or three million people mm -hmm. out there who don't know that their machine potentially is a fire risk. And that includes the, the family that we're going to come to next yeah. who had no idea that their tumble dryer was on a uh, list for a safety okay. modification. Which is why we keep revisiting this story on, on the programme, because it, it's running, running. And talking of that family, this is the Draper family, uh, Matthew and Katrina. Hello, their Drapers. Hello, the Draper family. Their lovely daughters, Lisa, Lucy, Danielle Hi. and Katie. Good morning to you all. Um, and now, the, the caravan, we'll have to notice straight away that you're in a caravan, you're living in that caravan. Yeah. Would you like to tell us why? Explain to the audience watching why that is. The fire in the house have gutted everything and the house is no longer livable. We've, we've been to the council for alternative accommodation and isn't, well, since the 19th and they still got, there's nothing, they, they, you can't get no reply. So, so we're looking got no at the, but to come here. yeah we're looking at the the pictures now Matthew of your house as you, we can see absolute devastation from that fire so we can absolutely see why you have had to move out um, tell us actually what happened on the day with this fire who was in the house who was at home what did you do Lucy was at home um, she she smelled the smoke and seen smoke coming up the stairs so she's come down gone into the living room, through to the kitchen and seen the tumble dryer itself on fire. And obviously seeing the fire, she's gone out then, grabbed the dogs, got out of the house. And going down the steps, she viewed an, an explosion, which the fire brigade have described as a flash in. Mm -hmm. And it, it basically means that the whole room was between 800 and 1,000 degrees. Wow. So she was like 30 seconds away from being inside the house at that time. And Lucy, so terrifying for you, you're there at home on your own. I mean, how bad, when you came down the stairs and you saw the tumble dry, what did it look like? How bad was that fire? At, the, at first the fire wasn't exactly really bad, but you could like see all the flames coming off the drum and like melting the flame of the tumble dry itself. I, what I'm curious to know is this tumble dryer was you bought it in 2014 I think did you have any idea it was a hot point did you have any idea that it had been subject to a safety recall a safety alert notice had you heard no, any warnings from no. friends newspapers we did warnings about tumble dryers being recalled but we didn't realize that there was such new ones as well mm. like they they've been made up until September 2015 we thought it was older models this yeah. You see, Matthew, they still sell, Matthew makes they, they a great point there. In the shops. Yeah, I yes. would have thought the same as him. I would have thought I would have heard about this. It was on the telly. It's bubbling around in the background. But that must have been years ago they were talking about. Absolutely. No. And what, what we find so outrageous and now trading standards found outrageous is that these machines, as you say, were made up until 2015. And it's a safety alert. This is not a recall. You would think if these are so dangerous, these should be taken out of homes. And that's mm -hmm. what we're campaigning mm -hmm. for. Because, as you can see, what's happened to the Drapers, what starts as a tumble dryer fire, suddenly becomes a huge house fire. I spoke to South Wales Fire and Rescue Service just this morning mm -hmm. and said, can you absolutely tell what happened with this tumble dryer? And they said, by the time they got there, or by the time, you know, they put the fire out, it was impossible to tell because there was such damage to the house. Mm -hmm. So it can start in the mm -hmm. tumble dryer and within a minute the whole house can have this flashover effect uh -huh. and it can be decimated. Well, as you said, forensic fighting. experts will be detailing, trying to get to the bottom of what actually mm -hmm. caused this and if it was the tumble dryer.